Good morning, kindergarten. This is Mrs. Campbell, and I want you to pull out this wonderful Let's Find Out, my weekly reader. Your issue should be in your folder, and the name of this issue is called Who Lives in the Arctic? Peekaboo, I'm a big furry animal from the Arctic. Do you know my name? All right, some of you might know his name, some of you might not. Let's first learn a little bit more about what we might already know about the Arctic animals and maybe open our minds for something new. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video called A Walk in the Arctic. A walk in the Arctic. It is one of the coldest places on earth. Snow and ice are everywhere. Let's take a walk through the Arctic and see what wintry wonders we find. You'll need your snowshoes to explore the Arctic. Most of the land is snowy and freezing. Look around. Do you see any trees? This part of the Arctic is called the tundra. Here, it is too cold for trees to grow. Now we see the icy Arctic Ocean. Huge mountains of ice called icebergs float in the water. Believe it or not, some special animals live in this freezing place and we can find them if we look closer. In chilly Arctic waters, we find a white whale. It's called a beluga whale and it swims under the ice. When it needs to come up for air, it can break the ice with its head. Harp seals swim in cold Arctic waters too. Luckily, both seals and whales have a thick layer of fat called blubber that keeps them warm. This baby seal builds up its fat by drinking its mother's rich milk. Here come Arctic foxes. They don't seem to mind the cold. They have thick fur coats. They even have fur on the bottoms of their feet and in between their toes. Now we see a snowy owl. This graceful bird is a great hunter because of its amazing hearing. It can hear a little mouse moving under a pile of snow. You might not notice this Arctic hare at first. The hare's white fur is camouflage. Camouflage is a pattern or color that helps an animal blend in with its surroundings. And it's a good thing that the Arctic hare can hide. The clever Arctic wolf is trying to hunt it. However, the Arctic wolf's fur is camouflaged too. It can hide in the white snow and sneak up on the hare. But the ruler of the Arctic is this great white bear. Do you know its name? It's a polar bear, the largest kind of bear on earth. And we better stay out of its way. Now our walk through the Arctic is ending. So take off your snowshoes and take one last look at this magical frozen land and the awesome animals that live here. All right, were you able to recognize any of the animals that were in the video? Maybe you already knew that polar bears live in the Arctic. Maybe you already knew about a harp seal, but it, I, it was amazing to see that Arctic hare or the Arctic rabbit, because we just read a story in our um, reading about a rabbit who wanted to be different and certainly that hare was different or that rabbit was different. Did you notice 
what was something similar with the harp seal and the polar bear and the Arctic hare and the Arctic fox? What was something you noticed that they all shared? Something in common. Yes, I noticed it too. They were all white in color or very light. Why do you think that is? Hmm. Well, let's read this article and maybe it will tell us. Let's find out my weekly reader who lives in the Arctic. Peekaboo, I'm a big furry animal from the Arctic. Do you know my name? Yes, polar bear. Let's find out more. Amazing Arctic animals. They don't mind the cold. So let's go down to the green circle. Roly poly polar bears live here. They roll in the snow to clean their fur. Oh my goodness. Now, when you go to clean your skin, do you go and roll in the snow? No, we go and take a bath or shower to clean ourselves. Go to the pink circle. Fuzzy furry foxes live here. They curl up to keep warm. Do you do that too when you're really cold and you're just maybe jumping into your bed to go to sleep at night and it's really cold under the blankets? Do you curl up real tight? I know I do. Let's go down to the purple ring. Slick, slippery seals live here. They swim in the icy sea and catch fish. Hmm, is there any parts of our bodies that are slick and slippery? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe inside our mouths my tongue and my cheeks, they're kind of slippery inside. It helps our food go down our mouths into our esophag or into our esophagus and down to our stomachs. That kind of reminds me of what a seal might be doing whenever he slides into the water. All right, let's go to the blue ring. Hippity hoppity hares live here. They hop on top of the deep snow. Boys and girls, when you have deep snow and you're trying to walk on it, it takes more energy every time you walk on snow and you keep falling in. It's kind of like when you walk on the beach because we're from North Carolina, so that's something we can relate to. When you walk on the beach, really far away from the water, is it harder to walk in that snow, or not the snow, in that sand, or is it easier? And then think about when you go closer to the water, is it easier to walk on the sand then, or is it harder? Yes, it's easy to walk on the sand near the water because the water, or the sand soaks in all that water, making it harder to walk on. But when you go up to, let's say, leave for the day, um, and that sand is very dry, and you have to kind of take bigger steps to try to get where you're going, it can make you get out of breath. So that's sort of what happens with the snow. It's better if you could stay on top of it, like walking down near the, the water on the beach because it makes it easier. Oh, I see a question mark here. Let's click and find out. In your own words, say what each animal is doing. 
The polar bear is The fox is The seal is The hare or rabbit is Oh, I bet you all had different answers, but I bet you some of you had the same. Oh my goodness, look at this. Move and learn. Polar bear pokey. Polar bears can stand on their hind legs. Oh, they look cute. Can you do these moves? You put your paws in. Look, see how the bear's paws are in? And then you put your paws out. Ooh. You put your paws back in and you shake them all about. You do the polar bear pokey and you wiggle all around. And that's what it's all about. <gasps> Dance break. Dance break. Move like a polar bear. Walk like a big bear. Now leap. Woo! Leap. Woo! Leap. <gasps> Splash. Swim in the sea. Swimming. Bye bye, big bear. Oh. Next time. <gasps> Breathe. Breathe. Now take a deep breath in. One, two, three, and let it out. Three, two, one. Now melt to the ground. Good job. Now turn to the back of your paper. It says tracks in the snow. Some animals make paw prints in the snow. And they are called tracks. Ooh, look at this. Here's the polar bear. Oh, yes, he has some big tracks. Look at his paws and he has some claws on there. And here's the Arctic fox. He has some big and some small. And what about, I'm sorry, that was the Arctic hare. Now here's the Arctic fox. Ooh, it kind of looks like a dog or cat tracks, huh? Okay, now it's your turn. What made these tracks? Look at the tracks carefully. Was it the Arctic fox? Arctic hare? Circle which one you think it is. Hmm. I see too big, too small. Too big, too small. Do you see the pattern? And I see that same pattern in this one here, which says it's the hare. So I'm gonna tap this. <gasps> Yay! What made these tracks? A polar bear or the Arctic fox? Hmm, I'm looking at these and they have a big one and then a bunch of little tiny ones. So let's look up here, polar bear. Okay, they also have a big one and a bunch of tiny ones. But the Arctic fox looks, they have like one, two, three, four, five, kind of medium sized one. And then there's little dots on top. I don't see that with this one. So I think it's the polar bear. Yay. What made these tracks? Well, I know it's not the polar bear because that's what these tracks are. And I don't have the choice of the hair. So it must be, this one must be the fox. Good work. Awesome. Look at that. All right. Make sure that you have circled the correct answers. And if you had a wrong answer, it's okay. Erase it and fix it. All right. Okay. Ooh. If you are to go on to the let's find out .com, and you tapped on who lives in the Arctic, 
you can look over the videos again, do the dance break, or play this game. This game is called Arctic Animal Concentration. It's kind of like memory game. In your packets this week, we have a show what you know. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to use your let's find out to answer the questions. A grown up can also help you. Now I'm going to read each question. And then if you need more time to think or to look back in your let's find out, you need to pause the video. Okay. And then when you find it, unpause your video and come right back. Let's get started. Number one, which animal rolls in the snow to clean its fur? Is it the polar bear, the seal, or the hare? Circle the correct answer when you figured it out. Remember, pause it if you need to look it up. Number two, which animal hops on top of the snow? Was that the fox, the seal, or the hare? Pause if you need to go it back and look. Number three, which animal curls up to stay warm? Was that the fox, the polar bear, or the hare? Once again, hit pause if you need to look it up. Number four, what does a seal catch in the sea? Draw the picture here and then write the name of what it catches right here. Once again, you can go back into this article to find out how to spell what you're looking for. Once again, what does a seal catch in the sea? All right, good job, boys and girls. We're going to move on to our next activity, which is, looks like a fun dot to dot Arctic animal. It says, what Arctic animal swims in the icy sea? Make a guess, then connect the dots from 1 to 25 to find out. So they want you to take a guess first. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to say my guess is the polar bear. So what I'm going to, what you're going to do is start here at one. And let me see here. Let me get my drawing here. So you find one and what's the next number? Two. So I'm going to draw up to two. What comes after two? Three comes after three four. Then I want to keep going all the way until I get to 25. When you're done, you're going to circle, was my guess correct? Yes, it was a polar bear or no, it was not a polar bear. Because remember, that was my guess. wonder what your guess is going to be and wonder if you're going to get it right. There was one more paper activity I had for you to do. And we can find it in this one here. It is a polar bear word search. These are all the things polar bears do. So here's a baby called a cub. Polar bears roll, they walk, they swim, they play, they sleep. So what you're going to do is mixed up in all of these letters is the words from here. So I want to find the word cub. So I'm going to come down here and oh, here's a C, C, U, <gasps> I found the word. So when you find a word, then you're going to circle it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross it out so I know I already found it. All right. Now, our words. Sorry, let me clear this for a second. 
I'm looking to see. I think all our words go across. We don't have any that go up and down at this time. All right, see if you can find all six. All right. You can also, if you go on the website, you can do more of the polar bear pokey, the ho like the hokey pokey. All right. Oops, let's see here. All right, friends, I hope you learned so much today about Arctic animals and polar bears. Um, if you want to find out more, look at this. Here's another article about polar bears and all kinds of fun activities. All right. All right. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Have a great day.